it makes you feel like you can hide it, you know, that, um, but all, all it's doing is ruining, I couldn't remember people, faces, um, they just didn't matter anymore because it stole my feelings. A Terre Haute woman speaks out about a deadly drug. Indiana is in the grips of a heroin problem. It's an easy buzz, cheaper than a six pack or a night at the movies. But that's only a problem for big cities, right? No, heroin is hitting home, killing the people we love, changing lives forever. Tonight, in a special report, a former heroin addict sits down for a candid interview with me and photojournalist Gary Bryant, her story of survival. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter is an important part of recovery for 58-year-old Lindy March. The Terre Haute woman is an outspoken member of this large congregation at The Bridge on 8th Avenue. Amen. Outspoken about her dangerous past and her deadly habits. I started smoking marijuana laced with heroin. And from there I went to sniffing it. And by the time I was 11, um, I was shooting. Hooked on heroin as a kid. In all, Lindy battled heroin for 21 years. In and out of jail, in and out of rehab. I went through rehab six times and those six times I knew before I left I was gonna use again. It's just, uh, that drug just does, does something to you. Lindy March says that during her heroin addiction, she coded three times, overdosed and died three times, and three times brought back to life. But Lindy is one of the lucky ones. Many don't make it back. In fact, more and more of the people we love are dying thanks to a resurgence of heroin in the Wabash Valley, an old drug that's giving local law enforcement new challenges. Oh, it's here. It's, it's here and it's in our face. There's no denying it. It's not going away anytime soon. Steve Lockhart has been at the Vigo County Drug Task Force for the last eight years. He says they're rapidly seeing a trend, a shift in the last year and a half toward heroin usage in our town. From high school to middle age, white, black, rich or poor, it's a whole new game for police knowing where to look for it and learning to contain it. That this is not just your typical party drug. It's not gonna give you a rush today and you, tomorrow you go back to work and everything's fine. It grabs a hold of you. People lose everything in a matter of months for this drug. They, they lose all care about anything, their work, their family. This was Lindy's way out her only hope in the darkest time of her life. I went through rehab for the seventh time, but this time it was with God. And it's the only time it stood. Faith filled the hole in her heart. Faith helped her get healthy again. And now it is faith helping her reach out to others, trapped in this new world of heroin. There is some good news to report. The state of Indiana and the federal government are spending more money on addiction programs. But the bad news, the majority of that money goes to the largest cities. Our smaller communities get a very small percentage of funding. As a result, most treatment facilities in the Wabash Valley are full. There are too many people to treat and not enough space.